6 o'clock news from the BBC oh, yeah. with Sue Lawley and Nicholas Witchell. Oh. Six o'clock. In the House of Lords, a vote is taking place now on a challenge to the poll tax. Tory rebels have said that the tax... Testing about rights for lesbian and gay people. In general, Britain was quite a, a hostile environment in the 1980s for the LGBT community. About 75% of people, when surveyed, said that it was mostly or always wrong to be gay. Simply by walking down the street, if somebody identified you as, as lesbian, or gay. You could get abuse and you could be violently attacked just for being. I obviously don't want children taught that the gay and lesbian lifestyle is natural or normal. It is not, it never has been and it never will be. It's my overriding concern is with the promotion of positive images of homosexuality in schools from primary school right through and that is what is causing many parents real concern and offence. There was a sort of catalyst moment where a book was published called Jenny Lives with Erica Martin about a girl who lives with her two dads and it sort of kicked off a, a moral panic uh, in Parliament. What we were told we were doing was destroying the heterosexual family. So that lobby grew to get this clause enacted. Section 28 uh, banned local authorities from promoting uh, homosexuality. The second part of it uh, banned the teaching of the acceptability of homosexuality in, in schools. Basically, it meant the closing down of services. So young people became very vulnerable, particularly, and schools couldn't protect people from being bullied. All kinds of groups all over the country began to protest. Actor Ian McKellen was at the head of a procession which stretched nearly two miles. A group of lesbians chained themselves to Buckingham Palace gates, dressed as suffragettes. A group of lesbians abseiled into the House of Lords. Through all of the campaigning prior to the enactment, we could not get the media to understand what the impact was going to be on our community, on our children. So really, the only thing left was to actually be the news by being on the news. We met outside Television Centre. We managed to get through the security. The whole thing was timing, really. Uh, and as soon as the lights changed, we barged into the studio. The whole place went mad. I got smacked to the ground by don't know how many people. One of our number managed to handcuff herself to a camera and the other one got behind the news desk where she was quite violently subdued by Nicholas Witchell, who's since apologised. Sue Lawley carried on trying to read the news. And I do apologise if you're hearing quite a lot of noise in this studio at the moment. I'm afraid that um, we have rather been invaded. In the, in the footage, it's all got rather muffled and you can hear little muffled shouts of, Stop the section 28! And eventually we were, we were all arrested. It, it did get huge. Uh, media coverage. You know, the headlines were all about loony lesbians. But over time and, and beyond that, I've heard from quite a lot of people what it meant to them as young LGBT people in their own home, knowing they were gay but maybe not even out, and just felt, just felt a little bit empowered by it. So here we are at Television Centre again, 30 years later. Clearly, things are a lot better. Than, than they were in the 1980s, but it hasn't completely changed. And there are very dangerous and serious pockets of homophobia. We have to be in solidarity with all the communities worldwide who are in daily fear of their lives. I'm glad we did it. The fact we're here today means the story's been remembered.